This is episode 40 of the Just Ask Joey podcast. And she was like, who? And he was like, nah. And we was like, what? And she was like, who? And he was like, nah. And we was like, what? Just ask Joey. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Just Ask Joey. I'm your host, Joey. And today, we're going to kind of get away from the more serious stuff, focus on something a little more fun, which is the NFL. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm extremely excited about the NFL season coming up. But the last couple of years, there have been some issues that come up with football that that have people asking, is football going to be here in 10 years? Is it is it too violent? Is it too rough to be here in 10 years? And I think football is, is very violent. I think all the stuff about the concussion protocols and all that stuff are that the NFL needs to address and, and work on. I think saying that slamming your head against another person multiple times, 20, 30, 40, 50 times a game is not causing damage is irresponsible because it's one of those things like, how could it, how could it not be bad? It's kind of like smoking. You can say it's not bad, but really you're, you're lighting something on fire and inhaling it into your lungs where it's not supposed to be. So things, you know, you can play the whole, oh, I, don't, I didn't know it was bad on both sides because people on both sides do it. The people doing it and the people pushing it saying, oh, I didn't know. But come on, man, let's just, just let's use some common sense here. Uh, smoking's bad, duh. And smacking your head against somebody who is gigantic is bad also. So let's just be real. But honestly, I think the Achilles heel of the NFL is not violence because boxing is still around. MMA is more popular than ever. WWE is very popular. I mean, there's, there's violence is not a reason to stop playing something because it's a sport. It shows manliness. It, it's, there's a lot of, uh, strategies and stuff involved in it but yeah it's violent but it doesn't mean i mean rugby how long has rugby been around forever so i don't think football is going to go anywhere from violence i think the thing that's going to hurt football the most is money and the nfl makes more money than any other sport in america obviously they don't pay their players particularly well so why are you gonna go smash your head and hurt your body for the average NFL career is three years. You can get cut at any time. You sign a contract and nobody on the owner side has to honor that contract. And you just get cut. So you go from $3 million a year, $2 million a year, $5 million a year to nothing. And granted, some guys get the guarantees and stuff in there. And that's great for the you know for that small percentage of guys that are... That are at a high enough level for a long enough time to be able to pull that up. But f- the average football guy, I mean, if you're playing in the NFL, you're an athlete. You're a real athlete. For the most part, probably pretty smart too. I mean, most there's some positions that are not don't seem to be the smartest guys. I'm not going to mention which ones those are, but watch some interviews. You'll see. If you're a world-class athlete and you're intelligent, you don't have to play football. You can play baseball. Is baseball boring? Yeah, it's boring, but it's guaranteed contracts, and it's a hell of a lot easier on your body, and you can play for a hell of a lot longer. You could play basketball. You could play soccer. You could be in the WWE. You could do MMA. There's a lot of other things that you could do besides football, and I think one thing that's happening now with the the new uh, collective bargaining agreement for the NBA, where you have crappy players getting paid a whole lot of money, and I think football players look at that and go... Hey man, this is this is not cool. The owners make a ton of money. How come we're not getting paid better? And part of the problem is the design of the sport. You know, there's a lot more football players on the team than there are basketball players. So to split up, you know, billions of dollars in revenue for the for the team, it's it's a little easier to give a big fat paycheck when there's only 12 dudes on a team as opposed to 53. Kind of same thing with baseball. Baseball's got a pretty big roster, but they have 162 games. So there's a lot of revenue coming in. And I think these football players are just going to choose to play a different sport. 
if I had world class abilities, I would probably play baseball. You get pretty big fat contracts. They're guaranteed. Your body's not completely torn up at the end of it. And you can have a life afterwards where you're not in pain all the time and having to, you know, survive by taking pills and, and you know, there's a, there's there's a downside to it. I mean, there's a lot that goes into playing football. These dudes are not natural human sizes. And it's not healthy for your body to be 300 pounds. I don't care how tall you are. I don't care how whatever big bones you are. You're 300 pounds, 350 pounds. It's, that's a tough toll on your body, on your heart, on your organs, everything. And they have to maintain that because you got to compete at a high level or you get cut. And then what are you going to do? So I think there's a lot that goes into football that makes the money possibly not worth it. And I think that the comment that was made this week about saving up your money for a lockout in 2021, I think that's pretty valid. I think there's a whole lot of money. Owners are making a crap ton of money. And for what the players have to do in order to earn money, I don't know if it's going to be worth it. I don't know if the investment is worth it. Like I said, world-class athletes, intelligent people, most of them at least partially college educated, two, three years, even if they only kind of went to class, it's better than nothing. And they don't have to do this. And I think once they start looking at those paychecks, looking at those retired players and seeing kind of the issues and stuff that they're going through, they may choose to do a different sport. They may choose to do something else. And then what's the NFL going to do? What's the NFL if Tom Brady chose to pay, play baseball? What happens if Cam Newton played basketball? What happens if Tony Gonzalez played basketball? You know, there's a, there's players that wide receivers and stuff that and cornerbacks that could play soccer. What are they going to do without those star players? It's not like college. College, everybody's talking about college players getting paid, which is ridiculous. The colleges make the players. They put them on a on a stage for like the world to see. Nobody, no player ever made Notre Dame. No player makes Alabama. No player made USC. They're the schools. The schools make the players. It's not the other way around. In the NFL, the players make the teams. You take one or two major players off of each team and you completely change the dynamic of the team. You take those two players off of each of the teams and take them out of the league, you change the league. So I think what the NFL needs to do to cut this off, and I doubt they will, they seem to handle things pretty cocky. They seem to just kind of hold off. I mean, Jesus, they're still, I mean, the whole concussion thing is still crazy. Just make them sign a waiver that says you play this game, your brains are going to get smashed in. Uh, You may have problems afterwards. The end. Sign a consent form. Just do what everybody else does. But... I don't think they're going to they're going to do it. They're going to push and push and push because the owners look at this as uh, an investment and they want their investment to go up year after year, which is what it's been doing. Goodell has done a fantastic job of that. NFL pretty much runs the whole calendar year. They have whether it's drafts or supplemental drafts or the combine or preseason or whatever. There's there's pretty intriguing football stuff on all the time. They, they're a great, great business model. You got to pay your dudes they're not going to play anymore they're going to play something else and that's when the nfl shifts when you have the top athletes going to do something else it's like look at boxing all those boxing guys that would have done boxing 20 years ago they're doing mma stuff now they're doing other stuff where does that leave boxing who cares exactly so nfl it's not going to be the concussions that hurts the nfl it's going to be the players not playing. It's going to be the next generation of players coming up and not playing, not because it's dangerous, but because it's not worth it. You need something, you need a little bit more stability if you're going to put your body and stuff on the line. So they'll put their body on the line for something with more stability. I think it'll help MMA a lot. I think it'll help baseball a lot. And baseball needs help. It'll help basketball a lot. So do the right thing, NFL. Pay the players more. Get a better collective bargaining agreement. Don't wait till 2021. Don't just let this linger, okay, for the next five years because it's going to linger. The basketball CBA really, really put you guys in an awkward position. 
Because now all their dudes that they that they're friends with, they're making serious bank and they are on the bench. So, all right. If you guys have any other questions, hit me up on Snapchat, Twitter, find me, and I will see you guys soon. Have a good one. And she was like, huh? and he was like, nah. and we was like. Huh?